Grevishkov is back to settle. Grevishkov, one of a few Oklahoma City Barons who have a lot of NHL experience. 244 games worth for Grevishkov. CJ Stretch tried to fight it in for the Barons. Natanen gets the loose puck and goes back to Morgan Ellis, who had to deal with the forechecking of Curtis Hamilton. Out front it goes, Stretch with a shot that got deflected. And now it's skated out by Mike Blunden, who battles his way to center and then is able to shoot it in with Natanen in on the forecheck. He'll bump Brandon Davidson. Puck will come free for Hunt. And Oklahoma City looks to relieve the pressure. Curtis Hamilton able to get it forward to CJ Stretch. Stretch with a shot. Save made by Dubnik. Sent down low. Back to the line it goes for Hunt. He goes cross ice for Davidson with a shot. That one goes wide of the net. And the loose puck is picked up by Boyu. A couple of opportunities for Nathan Boyu to clear. And he goes cross ice now for Paterin. Boyu and Paterin really have formed the top defensive pair for Hamilton. Look at Boyu skated in and he whipped a shot wide of the net. And Draghetto able to keep it inside the blue line of Oklahoma City. Menazzato getting bumped, forcing a turnover. Dumont, save made by Bachman, follow up. LeBlanc had a golden opportunity. It's loose again out front. And Draghetto was looking for it along with Dumont. Davidson at the tail end of a long shift, unable to clear. Down low for Louis LeBlanc. He'll let it run for Andraghetto. There's Gabriel Dumont, stopped by Bachman, who's had to be very sharp in the early going. Menazzato finally able to relieve the pressure. Dogs being outshot 5-3, but arguably Steve have the better scoring chances so far. Puck played with a high stick. Hamilton in a stretch this weekend of 3-3, three and three, though they're all here on home ice. Okay, look at the opportunity here generated by Hamilton is some good work by LeBlanc. And then eventually they get this puck across. We get another good opportunity just moments after that. So Richard Bachman which incidentally, Norm, was the former pen name of Stephen King. Oh, there you go. I There's did not know that. Obscure trivia. Yeah. <laughs> Easy sick by Dubnik off of a shot by Taylor Fedden. Literary trivia night uh, here on AHL tonight on Cable 14. Educate and entertain, Norm. Absolutely. Off the faceoff, another one of the newest Hamilton Bulldogs, Davis Drewiski, shooting the puck down the ice. Holland got belted from behind, and that will result in a power play for Hamilton as it looks like Fedden is headed to the box. See it right there as he shoves Holland into the end boards. Thinking he was a little thirsty, perhaps. And so now the Dogs power play will get a chance to go to work. Just three for 30 in their last seven games. Looking, no doubt, to see if someone like Nathan Beaulieu, who's come down from the Canadians, can, his last few weeks, can inject a little life. Certainly a lot of talent on this Hamilton power play. One of the reasons they picked up Martin St. Pierre, their captain. And it will start deep as Hatteran will circle back. Cross-checking the call on Fadoon. Hatterin has five power play goals this year. Blunden on the off wing. And the big man tried to get it back to the point, and it was tipped out by Will Acton. And Hatterin is back. Hatterin well beyond his career high in points. 24 points this year, had 12 last year. Puck is played by Blunden. St. Pierre at the half boards, checked right away. Federn, and then there's going to be another penalty coming up on the play to Oklahoma City as Austin Fighton felled Martin St. Pierre. Got the high stick up on the dog forward. So now it's going to be a five on three for a minute 17. Oklahoma City penalty kill. So we're not surprised. You get a look at the penalty here from down low from our camera in the corner. They are 29th in the league in goals allowed, and they are 29th in the league on the penalty kill at 78.6. The dog penalty kill, 26 in the American Hockey League at 14.1. But certainly a good opportunity here. Minute 17 worth of a five on three for the Hamilton Bulldogs. 
Boy you down low, Andre Gallo Patterson, one timer deflected right to St. Pierre and he couldn't pull the trigger. Andre Ghetto gets it back to the point. Nathan Boyu, middle of the ice. Fake the shot, cross ice. Andre Ghetto up top, Boyu sets it up for Patter and he fakes the shot. Boyu hard shot and it's blocked by Matthew Ford. Davidson unable to clear. The referee's hand is up in the air again and it looks like there's going to be a penalty against the Hamilton Bulldogs. So that will do it for their five on three. Well, they don't get a shot on that opportunity. It's Gabriel Dumont who's going to go for the slash. So we're going to have 33, but a minute, uh, 44 seconds left in the original penalty to Fadoon. So I guess to four on three, and then we'll even up at four and four, and then the Barons, if everything holds, will get a 33 second power play. So four on three power play now for Hamilton. Boy, you will clear one, and that one goes right into the netting and out of play, and the faceoff is coming outside the zone. Tough right penalty to take. I know it's stating the obvious there, Steve, but you're up five on three. You've got the play in the offensive zone, and you take a slashing call. And one of the linesmen reversed the original decision, so. The Bulldogs get a break in an offensive zone faceoff. And Hunt will send the Hamilton power play back deep. And Nathan Boyu will wind it up again. St. Pierre, touch pass. And Boyu will settle things. Patterson, one timer, was teed up by Boyu and he missed the net. Here's St. Pierre on with Andrew Ghetto. Patterson at the top. First penalty's about to expire. We're going to be four on four. Patterson cross ice. Boy, you scores! <laughs> Took the cross ice feed and went top shelf. Nathan Boyu makes it one nothing Hamilton. It will not go in the books as a power play goal, but essentially it is as Fadoon was just stepping out of the box when Boyu blasted that shot. Pass Richard Bachman, he gave the dogs a one to nothing lead. The fifth of the season for Nathan Beaulieu. So Hamilton with the early advantage. That was a hard shot by Nathan Beaulieu. Makes a one nothing. comes Blunden busting down the right wing. Lost an angle, tried to reverse one out front in the direction of Masonauer. Pitlick is away. Panizotto challenging Morgan Ellis, who played him well. Goes back to the line. Fadun with a shot, and Dubnik calmly makes the save and holds on. 